Okay, so just to piggyback off of that last question, will beta-1 3D glucan harm an autoimmune condition or a transplant patient? Boy, that, that's a question that I get quite often. And I want to tell you with, with uh, sincere honesty, there's not a whole lot of people around that, that have read and studied and associated with the world's experts uh, on this topic uh, more than myself. And the general consensus among, among all the experts is we really don't know. Uh, all that research has been done on safety. Well, they never took any kind of population of people with autoimmune disorders. We're talking about MS. We're talking about alopecia. We're talking about uh, skin conditions. We're talking about Crohn's disease. The list goes, it must be 85 going on 100 different conditions. The problem with autoimmune disorder is we don't know and understand what causes it. And without knowing what causes a condition, it makes it impossible to talk about fixing it. Now, the classical wisdom, the standard of care, if you please, suggests, well, we're just going to turn your immune system off. We're going to use things like prednisone, cortisone, other corticosteroids, maybe even certain types of chemotherapy to shut down your immune system. Now, the doctor's not going to say this, but he's going to say, because I don't know what else the hell to do. But that is the truth. Now, if you go to your pharmacist, or maybe the doctor himself, will come clean and say, boy, if you keep taking this prednisone and this cortisone and this chemotherapeutic agent and so forth long enough, well, you're going to find yourself needing another 10 or 12 drugs to offset the uh, problems that they create. So, that being said, I would say that a person with an autoimmune condition needs to sit down with their pharmacist sit down with their medical doctor, and have a clear understanding. In fact, they need to have a copy of an excellent book written by one of the top researchers in the world, Dr. Václav Vetvika at University uh, of Louisville. The name of the book is Nature's Secret, widely available online, and have the pharmacist, have the doctor, have the medical experts sit with you and read the chapter on mechanism of action, explaining exactly what beta-glucan does, how it does it. The, you know, it's very well understood. Many peer-reviewed medical articles have been published on the topic. And say, now, look, Doc, I know that if I keep taking prednisone and cortisone and these other compounds long enough, the pharmacist has explained to me all these ill, Ill side effects. So I know that you don't know, and he doesn't know what's causing my problem, and none of these drugs you're giving me can fix it. I possibly might want to paint outside the box. I'm already coming to see you on a regular basis to have my blood work drawn and 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 have you uh, watch what's going on, and then then you as a group decide on how you want to approach. Uh, the idea of using this immune modulator and have him continue to do exactly what he is doing T and, and, and see what happens with your, uh, but, but this is a, this is a controversial subject. Uh, and, and, you know, it would be a lot easier if you came to me and said, look, you know, I've got a staph infection and I'm taking penicillin or I've got, uh, a tooth being pulled or, I'm, I'm on chemotherapy for, for a particular type of cancer. I can tell you without a doubt that the compound would be 100% safe and not interfere with any of your medications. But when it comes to autoimmune disorder, that's one that, that we simply choose to stay out in the middle of.